Well, I was asked how I carve the foam out. This is just pink insulation foam. As you can see here, this is what I had handy to make my uh, knife case. And what I use is a Dremel and two different tools. Um, I am not sure what this tool is called. It's just something I had. Um, got little edges. I just I use this. This is what I use to do all the work, like uh, carving the outline for the knife. Right here, like you can see, is that I've done some here. And I also use just uh, a grinding wheel, and that's just to get it to this point where it's I can smooth it out somewhat. This leaves a pretty rough cut, and if you try to glue felt to this, it's very difficult, but I'll give you a little demo here. Um, if you're doing it this way, it's very messy, so keep that in mind. And I have a vacuum cleaner right next to me. I normally do this out in my garage, and uh, where it's, well, actually outside, outside. Uh, if I have everything plugged in in the garage, and run the cords out, but it's that messy. But I do a lot of the finishing work inside. I just do the rough work outside, because this is what I'm talking about. So if you do this inside, have a vacuum cleaner handy or a shop vac. Let's get to it. I, oops. I may speed this up here because uh, it's kind of boring just to listen to the Dremel run, but here we go. As you can see, very messy. <laughs> But here again, I'm just going to vacuum this out. Alright, hopefully that wasn't too boring for you and uh, high speed there, but there you go. That's basically how I do that part. And let me grab the knife that that's going to fit. As you can see, the knife fits in there fairly decently. It's a little bit high for a want, but not not bad. So now I'm going to switch over to the other other tool. And this will grind the the foam down a little and also uh, smooth it out. So hopefully it'll be the right height when I'm done. It should be, but here you go. There you go. Uh, as you can see, now it's nice and not ragged anymore, and I think I'll vacuum it out again. There you go. Let's see, is about what I want? Yep. So it doesn't take too long. You know, maybe five minutes or so if I uh, get it right the first time, like I did here, which I was lucky. But I wanted to show you that process, just how I do it. Um, it's pretty simple. Messy as hell, but quick. There are other ways you can do it, and... that are, or I should say, other ways you can do it that aren't as messy. But they take a lot longer, and maybe you guys have a better suggestion. Oh, by the way, sorry if I sound muffled, I actually got a... What did I just uh, lift it up here? I actually have a gas mask, or not a gas mask, but a um, painter's mask on. Just because there's a lot of small particles from this foam in the air. So, hope you found that uh, useful information. Thanks for watching. Well, I wanted to show you the case finished. You know, I laid the uh, felt over the top of that and combo glued and pinned it in place but pardon reflections here I can't help that at all I just want to show you what it looked like finished you can see cover opens up and there are all the knives inside they sit nice and flush don't hit the glass top or anything but that's what it looks like done it could be better but I'm not the greatest with working with um, cloth material. You know, typical guy here. But, 
Okay, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what it looks like completed. And how this is, makes a nice display case for my knives and I'll take a nice place on my dresser. Anytime I'm interested in grabbing a knife, all I have to do is lift this up and grab the one I want. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.